Hey everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare. I've been experiencing some problems with iOS 18 Beta 3 recently. It shows Siri not available. Connect to Wi-Fi to complete Siri download. Obviously, I've tried changing networks, but still can't fix it. If you're having the same problem as me, leave in the comment sections. According to other users, iOS 18 RC is also having this problem. Besides this, it seems that other features of Apple Intelligence are also having problems. For example, only cleanup and writing tools are working, but the mail, messages, and notification summaries are gone. This is really annoying. Unfortunately, there isn't a concrete fix at the moment, but here are a few ways I've tried or seen recommended that might help. Let's go over them. So, the first one is to restart Apple Intelligence and your iPhone. We need to go to Settings. Find Apple Intelligence. Click here to turn if off and on again. Then restart your iPhone. After a while, this problem might be solved. Second method is to accept the new iCloud terms and conditions. We go to Settings, open your Apple account, and you will see this new terms and conditions. Just click on Agree. This method works for lots of people. You can try it out yourself. If none of the above methods solve your problem, then you can try the third method, Reset your iPhone settings. Just go to General. Find Transfer or Reset iPhone. Click on Reset, and then click on Reset All Settings. It will reset your iPhones to its original state, but this method may lead to part of the data loss, so remember to back up first. The last method you can try is to use Rayboot to repair your I.O. system. This method is safe and won't result in loss of your data. I will put the download link of Rayboot in the description. To use Rayboot, you need to connect your iPhone with computer using a USB cable. Then open Rayboot, click on More Features, as you can see, we have Explore iOS Beta features here. Click on it. And then we will see this firmware version 18.1 Beta 3. Click on Download, and it will start to repair it. It's very powerful. If you still can't solve these problems, you can use the feedback to send your problem to Apple. All right, that's it for today. I hope one of these methods helps you out. If you found any other solutions that worked for you, drop them in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.